everyone now we'll see we'll count number of vowels in a string so javascript can be embedded in html in head section or in body section of html or as external file so javascript code should be written between a script tag and uh, you have to use uh, if you are using notepad then after script tag, write language is equal to javascript now uh, we want to uh, we had declared the variable by using keyword where these are the variable count initially i had uh, assigned as zero because uh, initial value of count we want to count number of vowels as zero so ch len all variables are separated by comma and each line is separated by semicolon in javascript javascript is case sensitive prompt is a function or you can say inbuilt function which is used to accept a string so prompt we had accept a string and it is assigned to ch variable you can give any variable now uh, any string means collection of characters it is entered it is assigned to ch variable now um, for loop is used when you want to execute the statement again and again so these statements within a curly bracket will execute again and again till ch dot length now uh, ch whatever is there in string suppose we are and, and hello so length of string is how much five uh, so till it becomes five uh, till uh, till the end of the string this will go on looping so we don't know how many characters will enter um, each time so uh, this uh, for loop will get executed again and again till it uh, has come to end of the string like suppose hello until and until it comes to like hello a last letter is o until that time this statement will get executed uh, again and again so length is is a um, count of number of string so that is a length suppose uh, we had entered world so what is a count of world w o r l d 5 so till string becomes a uh, length becomes 5 this for loop will get executed again and again initially i had given as a zero then uh, this uh, will uh, this is a condition this loop will get executed till the length of the string till end of the string i plus plus is used to increment the value now ch whatever we enter in ch we can access uh, its method string uh, method this is caret at you have to use in capital i means uh, to uh, that is the index value initial index value suppose we had entered hello so very first index of uh, the string starts from zero so from zero it will start so uh, so it will uh, check it will uh, assign that uh, first character whatever is there suppose hello so what is first letter in hello h so it will assign to c now we will check the if condition is used to check uh, this all the characters uh, which is entered one by one uh, so we will check first letter so first letter is h so it will check whether is e it is equal to equal to a this uh, this is our operator pipeline operator it is used to check whether it is capital a or small a small a or capital a or a we know a e i o u r vowel so all this or or means if any one condition is true means we had rented uh, written a then e capital e small e i i capital i small i o capital o small o e i o u so we had entered all these uh, uh, characters so if any one condition we know a e i u r vowel so if a character contains any one of uh, this uh, vowel uh, this vowel letter uh, or this is pipeline operator logical or or means if any one condition or all condition are true uh, then this count will get incremented what is initial value of count zero so zero plus one will get get incremented by one but if it is false if this all condition are false this is first condition second condition third if any of the all condition are false then it will not increment but if any one condition or means any one or all condition are true then it will execute this otherwise this count will not increment so again for loop will go for next value suppose hello then next letter is e then it will increment its value i value will become uh, one so second value is one then uh, it will check whether uh, one is less than five because hello uh, number of characters are five yes it is less then what is next letter carrot so carrot is used to 
uh, get the uh, value at that index so next value is what because i is now one hello e so second letter is e so ch means what is the value at that index uh, of the string so e so e is assigned here so it will check whether it is e ch is equal to e e this is equal to operator yes it is e then count will become one so this way it will go on looping till end of the string then after that here we had printed the string by using document dot write and here we had printed what is the number of count of this so we'll run and see suppose we had entered hello h suppose e l l o okay so two we have two vowels now suppose uh, information suppose i n f o r m capital a suppose t i o n now how many characters i okay so we'll write only in four ma one this i is one count is one o two three so a is three so number of vowels in a string is three so we'll try to enter suppose maximum any c capital also you can maximum maxima we'll write suppose a is small now how many characters we have here suppose we enter e also okay so how many characters so a this capital is uh, i also is vowel a e is also so four we have suppose umbrella will take umbrella suppose u capital e capital umbrella okay now we have c u e and a so three so these are vowels number of vowels in a string so hope you understood subscribe to my channel to get more updates you can see the program thank you subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you